Lots of profound, timeless literary references. This speech won't have any of those. My passion is athletics, and I want to share the greatest lessons I've learned through sports. And since we just had the NCAA tournament, I will use the Final Four as my construct. School is a lot like sports and games, and I think these lessons carry over seamlessly to success in school, as well as in work and life. So here are my four greatest pieces of advice for you. First, build your teammates up. Life is about relationships, and the more you can do to demonstrate to others that you genuinely care about them, the more you'll bring out their best. Be there for one another, off the court and on it, in the classroom and beyond, and you'll enjoy the richness of life. Great players make other players better. Think Michael Jordan and LeBron James. They make their teams better, they elevate others, and they find success. Great teams are better than the sum of individual players. They create synergy and elevate beyond what any one person can accomplish. As John Wooden said, it's amazing how much, we, how much can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. Two, take dead aim. This idiom comes from the world of golf. I love to golf, and like other golfers, I love to shoot low scores. <laughs> but I can't play worrying about my score. Golf guru and aficionado Harvey Pennick called it taking dead aim, asking players to be fully committed to every shot. I simply do my very best to concentrate on each and every shot, making the best swing I can. This metaphor holds for school. Being fully committed to each class, each homework, essay, reading assignment, lab, worksheet, and discussion will, for most students, yield strong results. But focusing on the marks themselves often undermines the endeavor. Three, practice makes permanent. There are no shortcuts to getting in shape, and learning is a lot like getting in shape. Get your 10,000 hours. As Malcolm Gladwell said, the 10,000-hour 10, research reminds us the closer psychologists look at the careers of the gifted, the smaller the role innate talent seems to play, and the bigger role preparation seems to play. You have to stretch and tear muscles to build new ones, to spend the time to improve. You need to engage in the process, in the struggle, and that makes the best learning. More often than not, the teams that make the Final Four have had bumps along the way, just this year, two teams that weren't considered among the top 30 before the tournament played for the championship and had combined 18 losses. Losing can be the best feedback you'll get. Take it from UConn and Kentucky, not just me. <laughs> and finally, follow through is critical. It's great to be a fountain of ideas, and idea people have a role in all organizations. But like following through when you strike a field hockey ball or put up a three-pointer, follow through is critical. It can be the difference between a great shot and a poor one. And in life, trust me, the doers are invaluable. Thank you for hearing me out. Yay!